Hey, good morning, guys. So it's week 10. We're going to be reading day one. We're going to start at Matthew chapter 18, verses 15, all the way to the end of 35. So it's a bigger read this time. But, uh, and Jesus is talking. Um, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he shall hear thee, thou shalt gain thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word shall be established. And if he neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. And if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two, or if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, that they shall ask, it shall be done unto them by their, by, it shall be done unto them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And then, then came Peter and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? And Jesus said unto them, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy, seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a certain king, which would, ta which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon one, and when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had to pray, the Lord commanded him to be sowed, and his wife and children, and all that he had in payment be made. And the servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave his debt. But that same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, and said, Pay me that thou, that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience on me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not but went and cast him into prison till he would he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto the, their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all thy debt, because thou desirest me. Wouldst not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee. And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall ye, heavenly Father, do also unto you, if ye with your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Now that's today, and we'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a good day. Bye.